I fell asleep. Oh my god. I didn't even realize last time, but the background for the play can change. We have the Rocky Seas one here. Dad? I think we're stuck. Hey, maybe you should let me drive. You always do it wrong. That was one time. When are you going to let it go? You didn't even know how to drive when your dad was alive. Remember when we used to work on cars together? Those are some of my favorite memories. Oh my god. Did you see that? It was David for a second. Don't you mean my memories? I don't think you remember after you're dead. Oh. Touche. Oh my god. All right, you win. Why don't you go take a look? You sure? Hood. Ugh. What's wrong? Don't you see anything? Do I want to snap out of it or? No, nothing here might not even be related to the reality, nothing here. Fine, it's <sighs> the spark plug. <laughs> no, that's not it. I just had that replaced. Isn't improv supposed to be all about yes and? Yes and what? Dad, stop. N none of this is real. You're not real. Ra Rachel's family isn't real. This whole thing, it, it's... It's all just... theater. Well, you know what William Shakespeare said. Ooh. Something about the whole world being a stage. So, might as well act the fuck out of it. Nailed it. But I don't want to be an actor. I just want to be myself. Give me a break. Hmm. Well, maybe there's a reason we pretend. Maybe the lies we tell each other are less horrible than the truths we keep hidden. Wow. That's pretty dark, Dad. Where do you think you get it from? There's my cue. Dad? Relax, sweetie. It's all pretend, right? Right. Just a bit of stage magic. Floodlights. Sound effects. Chloe. Look at me. Look at me, sweetheart. It's going to be okay. Oh my god. Dad! Oh! Boo! Shut up, Victoria! I think when you're a kid, when you're a teenager, your parents impose so many rules on you. So when you can't express your freedom and do whatever you want, it makes you feel like you're being a fake person because you're not being yourself. Wait, what the shit? Has someone been going through my room? 
doesn't seem like mom. She wouldn't leave a mess like this. Wait. David? That motherfucker. Even the bed is moved, what the hell? Whatever. I don't have time for this shit. I've gotta help Rachel. Okay. I saw Sarah leaving Frank's RV. He might know how to find her. He might also be totally pissed about Damon's money. I've got to get this exactly right. Well, that's not gonna happen. I can do this. Price. Oh, Frank. <laughs> Eager much? Where's the money? Okay, let me finish my point that I was saying when we were climbing through the window. Did she come back through the window, by the way? Isn't that on the second story? Whatever. Um, yeah, when you're a kid. When you can't be yourself, then it feels like you're acting because you're being oppressed and all that good stuff. So I think that's what the, um, the acting metaphor comes in from. But it's not, it's not really that dramatic if you, <laughs> if you grow out of it. Don't piss him off. Don't piss him off. So, uh, the situation was a lot more complicated than you told me. What are you talking about? I promise I can explain. I... I have a favor to ask you first. You can't be fucking serious. I need to find that woman from yesterday. Sarah. Frank? What the hell for? Something important. Can you help? Even Frank thinks Sarah is dangerous. I think if Frank doesn't want to tell us, then it might even come from a point of wanting to protect us from Sarah too. I'm helping a friend sounds kind of impersonal, but if we say Rachel, I don't know how involved Rachel and Frank are at this point yet. Uh, I would really appreciate it. Not with a question mark. I'm your favorite client, remember? Me in the junkyard in two hours. <sighs> Sweet. Thanks, man. You're a real... <sighs> that went well, I guess. What am I getting myself into? Frank seems like a nice enough dude at heart, but then like why is he in such a profession? Can he just not find another job? He went to Blackwell before too. Okay, I've got two hours to kill. A shower would be fucking amazing. Ooh. <laughs> uh, girls, please. Thank you for being there for me last night. I'm feeling a lot better. Guess what? Hmm? I'm a good kisser? Okay, that. Also, we're meeting Frank at the junkyard in two hours. I think he can get us in touch with Sarah. Holy shit. Yup, I'm still at my house, just showering, then grabbing tools for the truck. So, meet at junkyard? I'll be there. You're amazing, Chloe Price. Yeah, you're amazing when you can help Rachel out. Inaccurate as of yesterday. Someone should update this photo. Just cross yourself out. <laughs> huh. Almost forgot I had this. I haven't played with it since, uh, <laughs> ever. Look at the difference in... Social class status. Rachel's is glow in the dark. Mine is like a cheap paper mache one. <laughs> what the hell is a gigantic red splotch? California, huh? Would be cool to see where Rachel grew up. Wonder what I can find out about Rachel's mom. Oh, that's a thought. Figures. Sarah Gearhart, one result, Winchester High School gives Fisher Award to S 
Of course, of course. 1989, each year, Winchester High School grants the Fisher Award, named after famous explorer Robert Fisher, to the student who best... Huh. Excellent student. Um... What? Wait, so how... An excellent student, but she was already kind of like... Needing escape and all that stuff, drugs and whatnot. Oh, Rachel... I'm scared she's gonna go down the same path. Not face, thought strange. Nice to see my work is appreciated. Just in case you needed more proof that Blackwell is better off without Chloe Price. So that's what girls take forever doing in the bathroom. Mad respect. No one asked you, Trevor. Burn. Wow, Chloe, that was classy. <laughs> oh my god, Chloe uploaded a picture on social media of her defacing the school bathroom. That's how you get arrested. A further layer of nuance. <laughs> Nathan almost pissed himself. Review. Blackwell's The Tempest takes Shakespeare by storm by Daniel Bouch. Last night, The Tempest was reborn upon Blackwell Academy's outdoor stage. The unique and bold direction of Travis Keaton gave the show an updated feel, typically absent from overdone classic works. Stellar in the lead role, the young Rachel Amber commanded the stage, just as Prospera herself commands the unknown. Worthy of special mention was Nathan Prescott as Caliban. The promising young actor's weak, anxious, trembling interpretation of the enslaved monster added a further layer of nuance, severely underappreciated by the teenage crowd. Okay. Mm. Well, the part that we saw of Nathan, he didn't do too well, but maybe that was only one part. Thou art an idiot. <laughs> Yet the real star tonight in the role of Ariel was newcomer Chloe Price, whose chemistry with Miss Amber's Prospera surpassed even that of Miranda and Ferdinand. As she explored Ariel's struggle between loyalty and liberty, Miss Price gave a truly genuine performance. Indeed, when Prospera refuses Ariel's freedom in an excellent revision of the original script, I have never seen a more believable portrayal of surprise than Miss Price's authentic astonishment. Five stars. <laughs> yeah, yeah, I'm sure that's what happened. Sure. Hang in there, Skip. Don't quit your day job. An interview with Skip Matthews, pisshead frontman. Oh, he quit! That's how David got the job! Arcadia Bay Online News. Following the, following the sudden popularity of your song, Nothing Wrong, What's Next for Pisshead? Skip Matthews. Well, for the moment, we're taking things slowly. So we shouldn't hold our breath for a full Pisshead album on the horizon? One day, but for now, I'm still working on my day job. At my day job. Sometimes, you have to do what you have to do in order to keep the dream alive. Even if it seems like it's holding you back. Yeah, creative artsy stuff, it's just too hard to make it. There's no guarantee. Just because you work hard, doesn't mean you'll get a job. Well, well, well. So much has changed. I wonder if you'd even recognize me now. I thought that was Rachel for a second. I forgot that's what Chloe looked like when she was young. I'm about to rack up a lot more absences. Capable of better. Oh, wasn't Rachel taking like six classes? God damn, she is. They want to help her. Tutors available. They want to help her, but she doesn't want to... It's not something she's interested in right now. God. It's way too early to be up on a Sunday. I'm a little bit scared about this. Stan, Is that Stan Pisshead? Here, bringing you up-to-the-minute coverage of stuff that's interesting on 87.9 The Seder. Please welcome Sergeant Alex Keller with the Arcadia Bay Police Department to the show. Oh? Sergeant Keller, drug use in Arcadia Bay is on the rise, is that right? Unfortunately, yes. There has recently been a spike in the use of heroin. Heroin? You'd uh, think a small town like Arcadia Bay would be safe from things like that. Well, the problem is these drugs don't appeal to any exclusive demographic. All kinds of people get involved. Rich, poor, teens, adults. So it can spread to any community. 
Does the ABPD have any leads on where the heroin's coming from? Damon? I can't discuss any ongoing investigations, but we are working closely with the district attorney's office to get to the bottom of it. Right on. Thanks for filling us in, Sergeant. Thank you. Is that... I'll keep it on if it's pisshead, but if it's not... Okay. Thanks for the information. Still can't fucking believe that David went through my stuff. I mean, Chloe is pretty, like... She could be a bit more kind and, you know, have a better relationship with her family and all that, but David is really... He is a problem, okay? He is a problem. Am I gonna change for today? Am I gonna shower for today? Oh yeah, I'm gonna go shower right now, okay. Huh? Mom usually does my laundry when she gets sick of me not doing my laundry. Oh, shoot. Maybe she believed me for once about never coming back home. Even Chloe. She has a room, she has a place to live in right now, and she wouldn't have that without her parents. There's a lot of things we take for granted that if we grow into it, we just don't realize that we are fortunate that it's there. If Rachel and I were still leaving today, there's literally nothing in there that's worth taking. Not even clothing? Oh. Dad's favorite jacket. Definitely taking that if Rachel and I ever leave. No. Have I ever watered that? Was that here before? Lisa! Lisa the prequel! Uh, better than nothing. Oh, does that... Oh god. I don't know if that works. You're welcome, plant. Oh my god. Sorry, board. I've got a real ride to fix up now. <laughs> oh god. Is that man? I can't wait to take a shower. Yeah, and then probably we'll change clothing after that. I wonder if that's the universe where dad's alive and Rachel has three happy parents. Well, let me try this again. Nope. All right. Let's go have our shower. Is mom playing music? What the hell? Huh. What now, Victoria? Mind your own business. What? Oh, I forgot what we did to Victoria here. Uh, there was a whole bunch of little options that we could have done. God, Victoria, you talk too much. <laughs> nice to see how it ends off. Chloe Price! I heard some fucked up shit about Nathan, from Nathan, about you. Who do you think you are? Wait, I didn't do anything to Nathan. You don't know anything about him, you dumb fuck up. Go back to your trailer. By the way, Rachel Amber obviously played you last night. You'll be lucky if she ever talks to you again. Oh shit, why didn't I say that? I'm so hurt. This is just the beginning, bitch. So I was right all along. Rachel Amber is a fucking evil bitch. Oh yeah, she totally is. I guess you think you're her little sidekick now. Yup. You've got every line of that play fucking perfect. How could that be? You've been planning this, haven't you? Oh no, you figured it out. I've had it with the school. Nobody gave a shit about me last night. It was all Rachel, Rachel, Rachel. Oh man, when you try to drug someone and then it bites you in the ass. That's just the worst. Fuck you, Chloe! <laughs> oh my god. I'm sort of interested in Victoria's family makeup too. What's her family like? Why is she so attention-seeking? Is it because her parents 
Don't pay enough attention to her. Is getting out of here still in my future? Or is this picture the closest I'll ever get? Either way, we're fixing that truck from the junkyard. Everything feels so hopeless when you're 16. One day, I'll look at that and think, huh, my old home, and not fuck this shithole forever. Oh. No way. Mom actually sold her ring for $300. What does amount required for redemption mean? Like we can't get the 300 bucks unless if we pawn something else off for 110? Oh my god. Well, we need money. We need to pay the rent. Cause nothing screams compensating for something like a bright yellow sports car. It's a goddamn calendar! She probably got it for free somewhere. Sports cars are really good for... <laughs> flames. Lots of flames. Huh. <laughs> oh. I remember this. Mom loved it. Wait. Is today Mother's Day? Shit. Oh! Seriously? Oh no! It's been scientifically proven. You're officially the best mom in the world. Happy Mother's Day. Love, Chloe. This card redeemable for a free breakfast in bed. Love you, William. Oh, this is from t five years ago. Oh no! We gotta scrap something together here! Uh, can I just give that to mom again for Mother's Day? God, that thing won't go away. Shit. David. David really is moving in. God damn it, this family needs some counseling. No, no, we already saw what was. Yeah. Yeah. <laughs> that was a bad move. Oh, we've read we've read the book before. I wonder who gave this to mom. Putting your foot down. Oh no! A guide and reigning in your unruly teen, Dr. Bill. Uh, we've read the self-help one before, but we've never- That was one of the choices that they said would amount to something, but it hasn't shown up yet. So, if I put this photo out, Mom just hides it in a different drawer? What the hell? Ah, uh, this whole situation is kind of hard. It's not like they divorced. You know, her husband died. And then she has someone new now, so does she keep- that I understand why she would wanna put it away. Yeah, but it's it's hard. Oh god. At least it's a nice day outside. Oh man. Let's get my shower in here. Is that David's towel? Where the hell is mine? Okay, my towel's probably in here somewhere. I should just calmly look for it. That's a little worrying. They're not kicking me out, are they? I don't even know what's in there. <sighs> Score. Oh, thank god. Oh, but it's in a box though. What does that mean? I can't believe Max and I were so into this shit when we were kids. Wait a minute. Captain Bluebeard's hair dye. Max was going to make me a pirate, but we never got around to it. Oh, Wash away. Not actual... Actual hair dyeing, I guess? 
ready for the best shower of my life. Hot water, don't let me down. I truly hate seeing so much of David's shit around here. Gross. What the hell is this? Manly grip pomade. Super grip hair styling pomade. Oh, okay. He's, uh, he's invaded. Oh, lord. Take a shower and get rid of that feeling. And since we haven't taken a shower for like the past two days... Of course, we gotta drown out the classical music too. No, that wasn't even classical, that was just some like funky... <laughs> whatever that was. Both Rachel and Chloe are just in... Oh, it's a tough situation. You know, I think the fact that Rachel... not Rachel, Chloe's room and her house in general is kind of messy definitely contributes to why she doesn't feel good about everything in her life. Ooh, look at that! Just a little streak. I need new clothes. So transformation to becoming a, a brand new Chloe. AKA the one that we know three years later. What about the one you jacked off, Rachel? <laughs> Are they throwing it out? Oh my god. What do I feel like wearing on this? Crazy ass day. I like that we are wearing, like, we might wear Rachel stuff, but I don't like that she was gonna give it away, so it's like digging it out of the garbage. As usual, we'll try on everything. Oh, that's a. that's Rachel's outfit, right? Oh. She's got that beanie going on permanently now, huh? The beanie that she found in that random truck? Oh my god. Bonus? Same stuff. Dragon. Oh! Oh my- Okay, I like this one. Oh. Oh. Hey, when did she get the three bullets necklace? Did she always have that? Did I just never notice it because it was never in full view? Classic Chloe. Hmm. I don't like this one nearly as much as the other one. But it is Rachel's. Eh, let's go with the other one, the dragon one. <laughs> the graphic is a little bit too cutesy for Chloe, isn't it? She's all like, yeah, I'm so edgy and badass. Little baby fire cone thingy on my shirt. <laughs> Alright, yeah. Yeah, I like the darker jacket here better. Alright, one last thing. I need to get Dad's tools so I can fix that truck. Okay. Dad's toolbox should be in the garage downstairs. So we've looked at all of that already, right? Okay, cool. Sunday. Today is Sun- Oh, what the- Wait, when did I- Oh, no! <laughs> Stop changing clothes, Chloe! Alright, okay. Let's actually get going. Is that funky music still playing? Yes, it is. Alright. Quick look around, just in case. Yeah.
No birds stuck in my house this time. Yup. All right. Here goes. What are the chances I can avoid mom or David? 